today i'm going to show you guys how to start sketching digitally i know sketching digitally it's um kind of like a little bit of stress and kind of problem when you just first get into it but when you keep doing it like on regular basis almost every day or you think it's into your day-to-day -day activities it's really going to be easy for you well today i'm going to show you guys the first step I use to balance my sketching and get used to the surface of my digital tablet in Photoshop. So without wasting time, let's get started. Hi there, this is Mark from Creative Pen and today I'm going to show you guys how to sketch in Photoshop. Now before you start sketching in Photoshop, there are some certain things you need to check before you go ahead and sketch. Well, it really depends on you for the things I mentioned. Now you can make use of the pressure option, but if you don't want to, you can still turn that off. But it's always advisable to sketch with the pressure option. Now, if you have a brush or you download any of my brush pack, you should be having something like this in your own Photoshop right now. But in your own brush, there should be pressure sensitivity or whatever brushes you are making use of. It is not really advisable to sketch with the default brush inside of Photoshop. And you can see right here, I don't even have the general brushes present in Photoshop. I delete those group and I import the one and create mine, which I will be making use of in Photoshop. Now, for you to start sketching, you don't do, you don't just go ahead and um, when you just get into digital painting you don't you don't just go ahead and just start sketching just like that because it's really going to be a little bit frustrating to you because trying to get the flow of the lines and becoming more accurate with the lines it's really going to be difficult for you i personally have those issues when i just get into digital paint and at some stages I feel like I just waste my money on my tablet because I rather prefer making use of mouse that period than making use of the tablet but after going through all this process step by step and I find it that it's really easy sketching with the digital tablet than making use of a mouse because the mouse you just make use of the pen to and you are done now but, but with the tablet you'll be able to make use of your brushes and so different kind of brushes you can download from other people and you can also create from other people to make use of yours so before you start sketching you need to check your brush settings first now i'm not supposed to go over all these stuff but i just really want you guys to know what's really going on with my brush because the brush that i created if i select the brush when i press harder it's going to create it's going to create a thick line when i press light and it's going to create a light line now it's making use of the pressure sensitivity option and to get this that is if you just really want to make it a default brush or you just really want to know what's going on with the brush you just have to go up to windows and go over to brush settings and the brush settings is going to open up so right here you can see that i have the shape dynamics and the transfer and i also have the smoothing check now in the shape dynamics whether the size is the size jitter what is this when i go light it's going to create a thick line when i press out it's going to create a thick line and when i go light again it's going to create a light line i do that with the size jitter by setting the control to pen pressure so the more i press hard the more thick line it's really going to create and when i press light it's going to create a light line now you can check that in yours if it's active or not then the transfer deals with the opacity of the brush if you look at it right here you can see that here is a little bit transparent on getting to the middle it's a little it's more transparent and on this part it's a little bit transparent and i set that to the pen pressure as well so the harder i press the more transparent it's really going to be and the lighter i press the more transparent it's still going to be so i'm going to close up this window because i don't need that anymore so i'm going to select the first brush which is the pencil right here now the default color i always make use of when i want to sketch is the default gray which is the 50 percent gray you can go over to your color picker and just input 80 80 80 but i'm going to make use of I'm just going to make use of the default color picker so double click on the color picker and just input 80 80 and 80 
it's going to give you the 50 percent gray now you can go darker or you can go lighter but i'm just going to leave it and this is close to the 80 so i'm just going to leave it that way then create a new layer above now like i said you don't just go in and start sketching directly because it's going to be a whole lot of stress and you can download this document with the link in the description because i'm going to leave that there so that you can use that to do your own practice and so on so i'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer because i'm going to be sketching on layer to guide my hands through the image so that i'll be able to understand because when you make use of this method and you go you'll be able to understand the flow at this point you are seeing what you are drawing you're seeing what you are drawing and it will help you keep the line straight or guide your hands to create those lines accordingly but if you have it off your screen or you set it as um, a reference or so on you can just keep going but in some cases you'll find out that you are not really doing exactly what you have in that part so that's why it's advisable to start tracing in other words tracing so that it's really going to help guide your hands then when you are perfect with the flow of the tablet and understand how it really works then you can now take your reference off your canvas and start drawing from it maybe you put it on a separate separate screen or you put it on a separate window in photoshop well we are really going to do that later showing you guys how to break down the shape of the face or your reference into several lines that is really going to help you to paint well that is going to be on next video or some other video which we are going to be looking at in future now to start sketching all you have to do import your image or your, or your reference photo into your workspace and resize it to fit in your workspace and once you are done resizing reduce the opacity of it because you don't want to sketch like this because you might see and you might not really see that you don't really want to sketch that way so reduce your opacity to somewhere around 50 percent i think 70 it's really okay now i'm not going to show you some other features which you are really going to use to sketch because it's going to make you lazy in most cases you always want to make use of that but with time as we keep going i'm going to show you those features which is really going to be easy because you already know how to sketch with just to sketch on this just to sketch on this orientation than what trying different orientation when sketching because with this you will be able to move your hand you'll be able to move your hand to get the lines exactly the way you really want them to be all you have to do you just have to zoom in and zoom out but if you are sketching without the reference on your workspace you don't need to zoom in and out you just have to stay to just get capture the shape of the faces before you start zooming in and zooming out but with this since you are tracing and you, you are not really after the shape you are just after getting the lines and getting used to your tablet you can zoom in and out at this point so on that layer that i created and this i'm just going to start sketching now for the size of the brush when you select the brush or when you have my brush pack the pencil there is set to 10 as the default size which you can see right here but if you wish to go higher than that maybe to go more than 10 or so on you can just increase the size of the brush from here but when you click on the brush again it's going to reset that back to 10 because that's how i configure the brush now to start sketching you might want to zoom in that is if you wish but most times it is advisable to zoom out but for most people they'll prefer zooming in if i'm doing this on my own I, i'm always zoomed out to capture the shapes very well to do all this stuff but you can leave it this way and start sketching so now and if you are sketching don't try to go like this try to do a straight line just try to go on something like this and that really help you get the flow of that really help you get the flow of your tablet and get to understand it quick than trying to give the sketching a breaking lines because it's not really going to make any sense at that point so i'm just going to start with something like this so i'm going to go darker with my color so that i will be able to see what i'm doing right here so you can see that okay
and don't be scared to try several lines like if the line is not really working out you can make use of the ctrl z or make use of the eraser tool to go back and redraw the lines now to all these places that's a little bit lighter you will get you'll find it useful making use of the pressure option right here because here is a little bit transparent so to do something like that you can just go a little bit lighter and join it right there in all this place you can go take again After doing for some time, you might want to zoom out and turn off the layer to see what you are doing. So right now, I'm not trying to be precise because I'm just trying to show you guys the steps to help you sketch for the first time when you just get into Photoshop with your tablet.
okay so this is what we have after tracing now you can see the difference you can see how it is almost this everything looks the same thing now if you take off the reference photo and it's really going to look like a real sketch just like a real sketch the one you sketch directly into photoshop now you really have to understand one thing while i'm doing the sketching i'm not trying to get exactly the whole shapes of the face not the hair and even the clothes you just have to go because when it comes to art you can really do anything because your main goal is that well your artwork should always look like a reference that is the main part of drawing so you can play around with any other thing you wish to do you can play around with the hair you can even change the hair or do whatever it is but just make sure that it looks like your reference so this is what we have after the sketching now if you can you can just turn this off and keep building up the sketch now if you want the perfect sketch this is just um a step for you to start now you can turn off the sketch layer or and start building on this sketch to make it look so nice and perfect but that is not really going to be in this video it's going to be in the next video or maybe some other time video but you just have to take out your time and practice more on this to help get the flow of your tablet and know how to make use of the brush and sketching in photoshop instead of making use of the pen too so that brings us to the end of this video and i hope this really help you guys and see you guys in my next video